everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sunflower, and today we are going to be making a few outfit ideas and trust to impress because i wanted to try something a bit different than you know what i usually post like for example real high content i kind of want to switch it up and maybe slowly transition myself into dress to impress so for today there's no like themes or anything that i'm gonna do okay it seems like there's a girl like next to me Oh, her outfit is very, very stunning. I like that. Anyways, back to the video. Um, so there's not going to be any type of themes. Uh, I'll just be like showcasing a few outfits that might get you a guaranteed first place. Who knows if you would like to use them. Uh, then go ahead, no need for credits or anything like that. But please get first place for me at least, so I know that my outfits are working and they get you a guaranteed win. Anyways, as you can see, I actually do have Roblox shades or shaders now again because i've decided to stop them like stop using them because i don't know like my gameplay would be so laggy and i think it's still like a bit laggy but not like bad as before but um yeah since it is a special occasion i decided to just like you know install my roblox shaders once again so yeah, that's basically it. Again, we're just going to be doing a few outfits. Um, there's no like theme on what these outfits are going to be like based on. They're just like, you know, some cool outfits that might get you a guaranteed win. Who knows? Anyways, before you get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on which outfit was your favorite. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on to the first outfit. So here is the first outfit, looks very very adorable, now I'm not sure what theme this might be like perfect for, but again this outfit is very adorable, it's really really giving fierce which I love so so much, and the skirt combo that I recently came up with is absolutely stunning, I will show you the items I've used for this wonderful outfit very soon but first let's actually turn off my shaders so you can get a better look at this outfit so here it is without my roblox shaders on still looks amazing i love it so much i really like the stars like this really like cute star pattern uh maybe this would be fit for a kubi or Y2K, but I know that they don't really have an Akubi theme in Dressed in Press, I'm pretty sure. But maybe if you were to do like a custom theme, then you could definitely wear this. This is so adorable, and I recently came up with this um, outfit while I was actually playing Dressed to Impress. And let's say that although I didn't get first place, I got a solid second place. I was there, I was almost there, guys. Anyways, let's do a different pose. Very, very cute. Anyways, here are the items that, I, that I've used for this wonderful outfit. I will say that you will need VIP for a couple items, like for example, these glasses that are stunning, the this skirt right here that uh, came when we had the summer update, especially with this um, like belly thing. Like I don't, it's not a ring. It's like. It's like a necklace, a belly necklace or whatever it is that you can put around your waist. And um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, this skirt is also in the VIP section. These two belts are in the VIP section. And overall, the rest is like, you know, just out in the normal that you can, you know, try to find. This is from the Brat update, which if you play during that time, then you should have it. But if you don't, then I'm sad for you because first of all that update was amazing and you did actually have a lot of time to play during that update and yeah i feel very very sorry for you anyways 
these heels are actually a part of the new Halloween update, which I do want to ask about. Make sure to comment down below, what do you think about this Halloween update? Me personally, I think it's amazing. I love it so much. I love the new VIP items and I love the non-VIP items. Anyways, back to um, my little showcase of this amazing outfit. We're gonna do a different pose. So back to the um, skirt, you're probably wondering for the patterns that I've used. Well, let me show you real quick. Now, since Dressed in Press has actually improved their game by a bunch, now you can favorite your favorite patterns or the patterns that you used for most of your outfits. I feel like this is a very convenient um, thing that has been added onto Dressed in Press, which I'm very, very happy about. Anyways, for the patterns that I've used for this whole outfit in general, it's just three patterns, this jean pattern, this star pattern, and for the fishnets, uh, it's actually, you know, down here. You're gonna have to scroll a bit, especially if you don't have these already favorited. So you're gonna have to scroll down, but this is the fishnet um, pattern that I used for her leggings. Anyways, here's a good last look at this amazing outfit. Looks very, very nice. I love it so, so much. And yeah, anyways, let's get on to the next outfit. Before I actually continue, I just want to say that my shaders do not want to turn off for some reason because um, I actually have no idea why. Anyways, um, because of my shaders that they do not want to turn off, I won't be able to actually showcase the items that I'm using for this outfit and future outfits that I will be showcasing, so I'm super duper sorry for that. Anyways, back to the showcase scene. Here is the second outfit. I tried to go for a winter theme, as you can tell. I think I did achieve that look that I was trying to go for because, oh my god, look at our earmuffs. They look so freaking adorable, like I love it so much. And the custom makeup too, oh my goodness guys. In my opinion, if you're gonna do like custom makeup versus VIP, I would do custom makeup because that really just completes your outfit, you know? And you can make a lot of amazing outfits without VIP. But I do want to mention that this outfit does have a lot of items that are in the VIP section. So I do sincerely apologize if you do not have the VIP game pass. But I do want to mention that when I hit 10,000 subscribers, which will be very, very soon here, and I'm very, very happy because it might just be before my birthday, which I'm very, very excited about, or who knows, maybe I might get 10K subscribers when I, like, you know, the day of my birthday. Um, I would probably start crying, but who knows? <laughs> because this is, like, so exciting. Like, oh my god, I didn't know that, you know, you could just, like, hit 10k subscribers on your birthday or whatever. But if that does happen, I will be very, very happy. But, again, I want to mention that when I do hit that goal or that achievement, um, I will be doing a Dressed in Press giveaway. I will probably give away a few game passes, and that's it. Um, definitely the VIP and custom makeup, but since there are some new game passes, um, I'll just figure out what I'm gonna do, especially since, you know, there's gonna be a first, second, and third place. So, again, I'm just gonna have to figure that out on my own, but I still have a lot of time. Anyways, enough of my yapping because, again, I don't really want this video to be that long on just, like, five outfits or whatever. But here's a last look of this wonderful outfit. Looks amazing. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to show the items because my shaders don't want to turn off. And since they are on, everything around me is going to be very, very blurry. As you can tell, the background is blurred for some reason. I don't know. I can't really control that. So I'm super duper sorry. Anyways, let's get on to the third outfit is the third outfit looks very very nice i did 
try to go for maybe a streetwear look, which I think I did achieve, which I'm very proud of myself for doing so. I really, really like this charm necklace. It looks so cute and kawaii, which I love so much. I love the little like cat charm thing. I think that's a cat. I have no idea. But yeah, anyways, here is a good look. Again, I'm super sorry that I can't show the items. Um, I wish that my shaders would just work and turn off, but I guess not. Here are the shoes that I'm wearing. I'm wearing fur boots that I made. Um, very, very simple. There's no VIP items included, so you're welcome. And yeah, I think I did a very, very good job. This is kind of giving Aaliyah vibes. If Aaliyah, you know, liked pink, I guess. I think she likes pink. Who knows? But yeah, this outfit looks very, very adorable. I love it so much. It's giving, the sunglasses are giving, the lashes are giving, and everything else is giving. Anyways, without further ado, let's go to the next outfit. Here is the last outfit. It looks absolutely stunning. It is kind of basic, but at the same time, it is very adorable for any theme. Well, not any theme, but I think this will go perfect for like an artistic theme since you have this, um, like whatever this is called. I forgot what this is called, but I know that I have one because I do a lot of painting on my own time, but for some reason, I just forgot what this thing is called but you put paint on it and you know imagine that you have a canvas and you're just painting you know anyways here's a good uh showcase of the outfit we are using the boots that were from the brat update again if you haven't played through that update which i don't know why you would do that then you won't have these boots but if you have played during the brat update then you should probably have it and um lucky for you that you have it anyways um that's basically it again this is really was like ugh, this was just like i don't know this was just a random video that i wanted to try something new for a change for my channel because I wanted to see how everything would go with dressed and press contents. Um, I think I did an okay job. Please make sure to comment down below if I should continue doing uh, like you know videos like this one right now. Um, I might do like better in the future because again this is really really bad and I don't like what I'm doing currently. So I'm gonna try some more like editing methods or whatever like methods that I can do uh, to make my videos uh, more better than before because I am just used to like doing royal high content but since I do want to transition myself to um, dress and press and like go back and forth or whatever whenever I want to um, I'm definitely gonna need to get used to everything but um yeah that's basically it my boys and girls and my non-binary folks thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video again please comment down any tips or you know some tricks or hacks that i can do to make my videos even better when it comes to like dressed in press content or even drop down some video ideas that you would like to see more in the future anyways again I love you all. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down which outfit was your favorite. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.